Good morning, guys. As usual, my morning routine consists of a large cup of water, protein shake, and a pre-workout. However, for the pre-workout today, I'm, I didn't put any caffeine in there because I'm gonna enjoy one cup of black coffee. So today, I'm gonna be working my back, my biceps, and a little bit of abs. As always, I would start out with stretching, and then 10 minutes of warm-up cardio. So for my back workout, I'm gonna do five different exercises. The first exercise is the bent over barbell rows. The second is the hammer grip lat pull down. Third is the single arm cable pulley rows. Fourth is the single arm plate loaded rows. And the last one is the plate loaded high rows. So I'm gonna start off with a bent over barbell rows for three sets. One set of 12, 10, and eight. So for my first set, I'm gonna do 12 reps with light weights. Then I increase the weights and do 10 reps. I increase the weights again and do 8 reps. The next exercise is the hammer grip lat pull downs for 3 sets, one set of 12, 10, and 8. For the first set, I'm going to use light weights and do 12 repetitions. I increase the weights and perform 10 repetitions. I then increase it to the maximum weight that I can perform for 8 repetitions. Next is the single arm cable rows for three sets, one set of 12, 10, and 8. For single arm exercises, I always start with my weaker side, my left side, and then switch over to my right. I increase the weights and perform 10 repetitions for each side. Once again, I increase the load to the maximum weight that I could perform for 8 repetitions. Is the single arm plate loaded rows, 3 sets, 1 set of 12, 10, and 8. Here I perform 12 repetitions using light weights, starting with my left weaker side. Then switching over to the right side. I increase the load and perform 10 reps. I then increase the weights to the maximum amount that I can handle for 8 reps. In this case, I completely maxed out because there's no more room for me to put any more plates on. Next up, the high plate loaded rows for two sets, 10 and 8. group I'm going to work on are the biceps for five exercises. The first exercise is the standing bicep curls. The second one is the plate loaded bicep curls. Third is the overhead cable bicep curls. The fourth one is the standing cable bicep curls and the fifth is the concentration curls. So I'm going to start with standing bicep curls for three sets, one set of 12, 10 and 8. Starting with 30 pounds, I'm going to do 12 repetitions. I increase the weights to 35 pounds and do 10 repetitions. I 
up the load to 40 pounds. However, I'm going to switch to alternating bicep curls because it's easier during heavier loads. Next up, plate loaded bicep curls for two sets, eight and six reps. I like to perform this exercise using one arm at a time because I find that I can lift heavier than if I use two. I up the weights and perform six repetitions. Overhead cable bicep curls for two sets of 8 to 10. Standing cable bicep curls, two sets of 8 to 10. Last exercise are the concentration curls for two sets, one set of 10 and one set of 8. Using a 25 pound dumbbell, I perform 12 reps. I up the dumbbell to 30 and perform 8 reps. The last muscle group I'm going to work on today are the abdominals for two exercises. The first one is the hanging leg raises. The second one is the machine ab crunches. For the hanging leg raises, I'm going to do two sets of 12 to 15. Machine ab crunches, I'm going to do two sets of the heaviest weight I can handle for 12 to 15 reps. Here I'm trying to do it nice and slowly so that I can feel my abs contracting. Hey guys, I'm back from the gym. So what I'm going to do now is... Just like the morning, I'm gonna have my protein shake. Post workout. And my rice cakes. And that's my post workout. Usually I have about maybe two rice crackers, but today I'm just gonna have one. I felt like I ate a little bit too much carbs yesterday. Anyways, I'll see you guys next meal. Hey guys, I'm at work right now. I'm about to have lunch. Let me show you what I'm eating today. So this is what I made at work. A uh, toasted sandwich with uh, scrambled egg, cheese, turkey cold meat, avocado on the bottom there, alfalfa, and some mustard. And it looks freaking delicious to me and I'm super hungry and looking forward to eating it. So after work, I head straight to the gym for elliptical cardio for one hour. Hey guys, I just came back from the gym after doing cardio and I'm super hungry and I just made myself some chicken, breast, quinoa and green beans. Yes, it's pretty repetitive. As you already know, probably have guessed that quinoa is my favorite starch because it has one of the lowest glycemic indexes uh, as a starch compared to like rice, brown rice, um, and white noodles. It's comparable to like pasta and it has a complete source of protein, whereas uh, noodles like pasta doesn't have a complete source of protein and what i mean by complete source of protein is that it has all the essential amino acids to build muscle 
uh, whereas um, pasta is lacking certain amino acids, so it's not complete. Uh, quinoa has all the amino acids you need for muscle building. And I here I got some uh, green beans, a little s just uh, steamed salted green beans. I don't have enough time to make some fancy dinner because I'm really hungry. But next time I'll show you how to make uh, quinoa stir fry rice. Anyways, I'm gonna chow this down and I'll see you guys later. So after that meal, I'm still very hungry. So here's what I'm gonna do. Actually, I forgot to eat some fat, so um, healthy fat. So I'm gonna have like about half or one third of an avocado. And I'm still hungry. So what I'm gonna do is chop up some onions and mushrooms and do some stir fry with shirataki noodles. Shirataki noodles, very little calories. If you look at the package, it says zero calories. That's actually not true. It does have a little bit of calories, but not a whole lot. It sort of tastes like noodles. It doesn't, it, uh, yeah, sort of tastes like uh, the Korean sweet potato noodles, sort of. It's pretty tasteless, um, but it's uh, definitely a very good filler if you're very hungry. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and chop up all this and stir fry it right now because I am dying. Hey guys, now I'm about to make stir fry shirataki noodles. And um, here are my ingredients. Garlic, I mean, onions, mushroom, garlic, oil, shirataki noodles, soya sauce, and some stevia to sweeten it a little. Give it some sweetness. So let's start. Just gonna heat up this pan. So once the pan is hot, I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil. And throw in the garlic. And then the onion. So once it is nicely brown, throw in the mushrooms. After mixing all that in, uh, mixing the mushrooms in for like a couple of minutes, so we're gonna chuck in the shirataki noodles. Like so. And after that's nicely mixed up, I'm gonna pour in some soy sauce. Personal preference, I like to add a little bit of stevia because I kind of like a sweetness. Just a little bit. And if you want some spiciness to it, I would add some cayenne pepper versus hot sauce. Hot sauce does have sugar and uh, sugar in it, so I'm gonna stick with uh, cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper. A little bit of heat. And we are done. So I'm guessing this entire pot has about maybe 15 carbs, I think, maximum. 15 carbs. Yeah, not a whole lot. That's what's amazing about shirataki noodles. So there you have it, guys. Here's the noodles I made. Mmm. Very low in calories. 
for calorie free noodles, I mean for low calorie noodles, this tastes pretty good. Maybe because I'm dieting and everything tastes good to me. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, please feel free to leave your comments below. And uh, if, you found, if you found my video very useful or uh, entertaining, please remember to like. And I would really appreciate it if you guys would subscribe to my channel and support, support me and I will keep on providing more content for you guys. Hopefully I can educate you guys on how I prep for a men's physique competition or any uh, dieting or workout information. I'm gonna post more on that in the future. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Thanks again for watching. And remember to follow my Instagram account at DeltaBolic. Thank you guys.